All right, look, I got a message for Cowboy fans. All right, the message is simple. Bill Belichick cannot save you. He can't save you. You know, recently, all I've heard about Bill Belichick is he can't win without Tom Brady, right? Without Tom Brady, Bill Belichick sucks, right? Ain't that been the word on these NFL streets since Tom Brady left, right? So we can agree on that, okay? Number two, if you're telling me that the quarterback and not the head coach is the reason that Belichick won Super Bowls, then how exactly is he supposed to go to Dallas with a quarterback incapable of winning a Super Bowl and win a Super Bowl? We're on the same page now, right? So what can Belichick do for the Cowboys that Mike McCarthy can't? I'm not blaming Mike McCarthy for any of this. You know why I'm not blaming Mike McCarthy? I'm not blaming Mike McCarthy because Mike McCarthy showed you when he had Aaron Rodgers that he could win a Super Bowl. He showed you with Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback, he could win a Super Bowl. Let's call it what it is. He showed you with Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback, he could get the NFC title games. He showed you that. All you have to do to solve the issue with the Cowboys is look at Mike McCarthy's career. That's all you got to do. If you want to know the problem with the Cowboys, look at Mike McCarthy's career. Brett Favre, NFC Championship game. Aaron Rodgers, Super Bowl and NFC Championship games. Dak Prescott, second round at best. What does that tell you? Oh, but Fisk, the, 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 the Packers were No, they weren't. Bro, he was winning 10 games and still going to the Super the, the conference championship with the Packers. The year Aaron Rodgers won the Super Bowl, they were a 10-win team. He's winning 12 games a year with, the, with, with this freaking loaded roster in Dallas and can't get out the first round. You know why? Because Dak ain't him. Every issue that the Cowboys have, it goes back to Dak Bortles, Dak Cousins, Dak Tebow. It goes back to the bum himself. He is what's wrong with the Cowboys. He is not why the Cowboys are winning. At the end of the day, if Dak was that dude, the whole team would feel it. The reason why the Cowboys folded so quick yesterday is because they knew it. They knew it. Yesterday afternoon, right? And you're going to see this with the Eagles later on tonight, right? The Eagles play tonight. No, forget the Eagle game. The Bills play in about 30 minutes, right? When the Bills play, right? The whole team is going to be galvanized around Josh Allen. Just watch. The whole team is going to feed off Josh Allen because they know he's that guy. They know he's that guy. Now, watch what happens when Josh Allen start getting busy, it's going to be like an avalanche. They're going to, the defense is going to play harder. The, the, the line is going to block better. The whole team is going to be inked because the quarterback is Josh Allen. What happened the minute Dak Prescott threw a bad ball to C.D. Lamb? He checked out. C.D. checked out. What happened the minute Dak didn't put points on the board? The whole defense started collapsing because they knew Dak ain't that guy. They all lost faith. It all goes back to the quarterback. It's not the coaching staff. How is it your coaching staff when Dan Quinn is one of the most sought-out coaches in the league right now? How is it your coaching staff? You're going to blame Dan Quinn and he's going to go to Seattle or somewhere and win 10 games a year. Mike McCarthy is an accomplished head coach. You can say what you want about Mike McCarthy. That, that dude got when you... When your quarterback is that guy, and y'all told me Dak is top five, y'all told me Dak is an MVP candidate, Mike McCarthy showed you he could win with that guy. The common denominator, whether it's Jason Garrett or Mike McCarthy, the common denominator is Dak. He is not that guy. I watched Tom Brady go to a Super Bowl with, with Bruce Arians. I watched Peyton Manning go to a Super Bowl with four different head coaches. I watched Aaron Rodgers go to champ championship games with Matt LaFleur. I watched Jimmy G go to a championship game. Come on, son. Cam Newton went to a Super Bowl with bum-ass Ron Rivera. What the hell are we talking about? It all goes back. What kind of conversation are we having right now? What are we talking about? 
Every issue that the Cowboys have is on Dak. Bringing in Bill Belichick is not going to make Dak any more clutch than what he is. What the hell are we doing right now? Like, Cowboy fans, you kill me. Because you want to fire Mike McCarthy and you want to blame Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones is one of the best owners in the history of sports. I would kill to swap John Mayer with Jerry Jones. I'm a Giants fan. I would love to have Jerry Jones as my owner. Jerry Jones puts one of the best teams on the fucking planet on that field every year. Jerry Jones never has a bum team. The Cowboys are always stocked to the covers with talent. Jerry Jones' blind spot is the quarterback position. He missed on Romo and he missed on Dak. Everybody watching this video who's not a Cowboy fan would kill to have an owner like Jerry Jones who always gets the best of the best, always has good drafts, always has multiple Pro Bowlers. The problem with the Cowboys is the quarterback. We're not blaming Jerry Jones. We're not blaming Mike McCarthy. Blame that quarterback. It's his fault because if you had a real quarterback in the building, the Cowboys would be a dynasty 10 times over. If you had... Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Mahomes. Hell, you know what? I'm not even going to. That's doing too much. That's doing too much. How about we go to the tier below that, that, that elite quarterback range? How about if you just had a quarterback like prime Russell Wilson, prime Cam Newton, prime Matt Ryan? How about we just go to that, that tier below the elite quarterbacks? How about that? I know Matt Ryan chokes a lot, but Matt Ryan won an MVP and went to a Super Bowl. Can Dak say that? There's a lot of quarterbacks that y'all talk shit about, Cowboy fans, that Dak ain't even done what they done. Ryan Tannehill made it to a championship game. What? what the, huh? I mean, damn, bro. Mark Sanchez made it to a championship game. Blake Bortles. Made it to a championship game. Brock Purdy made it to a championship game. <laughs> I'm going to end the video on that, man. Belichick can't save y'all. He can't. Vrabel can't save y'all. He can't. As long as Dak is your quarterback, Cowboy fans, y'all are going to be up Shit's Creek without a paddle. And you know I'm telling the truth. But anyway, throw those FUs in my chat if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.